Within this lesson, we're going to continue to build out our buttons here to make them a little bit more simple. So originally we had these social sharing buttons, the Twitter one, the Facebook one, the Google Plus. So we've really simplified it. Uh, we've gone to, again, back to Font Awesome. Uh, so we've connected to that CDN and we're able to access all of these great fonts. Here we've got the Facebook one that we're going to be using and we're going to just pick out these little boxed ones for each individual social network. So again, you could style it as you want. You can place images there or however you want to style it. Uh, this is just showing us um, just one way to do this. And this is going to allow us to start eliminating all of this text and make it appear a lot neater. And then we can go ahead and finish the styling on it. Uh, so when we click the Twitter button, we see that we do get this Twitter opening up. This is my text hashtag. Uh, it's going to be this roughly around the same thing that's opening up here. Actually, it is the same thing that's opening up here because we're using that same URL. Uh, and as well for the Facebooks, so we're going to the Facebook share, share, and we're sharing this URL. Uh, and then we've got that ability to write some information about the URL. Uh, so now we can start removing out those buttons. And all we've done here is we've got these uh, social share, Twitter, social share, Facebook. And that's all we have to do on click. It's calling the function. Uh, we've added in a class. This is for future uh, styling of the buttons. We're just calling it social button. Uh, so on click, it's going over and calling this JavaScript function where we have social share. And depending on what network is being shared here, and that's what we're doing console log out of the network. So we look in the right hand side when we click it. We see that we do have that network and then we're consoling log back out that URL that we're using as well. Uh, so that's all that we're doing down here. Uh, this is the same information as we had before. We're doing console log. We're calling into that uh, this particular function and this function is actually just returning back that data that we have up here in our meta properties. So open graph data is the one that we're going to be using. And of course you could use other ones or you could have other tags, uh, but we're just going to prefer to use the open graph information because uh, I think that this is probably the most uh, information. And again, if you're pulling in this dynamically on your website, uh, it's going to save you the time of having to rewrite it over and over again. Unless, of course, you do want to customize these messages and then um, you can customize a Twitter message in here, customize a Facebook message, and uh, so on. Uh, so for now, all we're doing is we're pulling out that full share URL uh, so we're going to be changing this up as well. Uh, we're going to be removing out all of these variables and having these variables come in dynamically into the um, that value here. Uh, so maybe we can load in these values first and then do the switch, creating that share URL. So we don't have to really do a lot of um, additional uh, addition to those uh, strings and those values. So we maybe just over here we're going to pull in our URL that we want to use so we can do that by setting a variable share URL and all we have to do here is we just have to go back up to here and see where our URL is so it's OG URL and that's the URL that we want to share uh, also of course you can pull in the URL that you're using within JavaScript and so for that uh, maybe we can just do window location href and actually we're calling it share URL and we've got the whole share URL so uh, URL so I'm just going to call it URL. And then that way we can take this variable value, add it in there. And we can also add it here at the end of the text. So that way we are sharing it in our Twitter message. And again, this is uh, the advantages of having it within JavaScript. Uh, because 
sometimes within the Twitter message, then you have to enter in the URL and uh, you have opportunity to make mistakes. So here we're just pulling in that local host value that we've got within our browser here. Uh, so this is the URL that's going to share that and it's going to add in that hashtag there. Uh, so we can also remove that. And the same thing with Twitter or with uh, Facebook here. So we're just sharing that URL. Uh, so share URL and I guess. Um, so actually we do have to encode it uh, for Facebook. So we're just going to go ahead and do the encoding of it um, for Facebook. So see here that it's it has done that URI encoding. And to encode it, you just do encode URI, and then we're just going to take that same URL value, just go back out to the page and refresh that, and hopefully that should work now. Uh, yeah, so some of them, they're going to require that encoding. Some might not require it. Yeah, so it looks like it was, uh, it just didn't like the fact that I was uh, sharing a local host. Uh, so maybe it, because it's not able to access it and pull up the OG data and create information on it. Uh, so that was probably likely the case. Uh, but when we do use an actual URL, uh, so I've just commented out that uh, window location href, and I'm actually placing in that URL in there. And uh, we can, again, we can do that more dynamically by pulling out that URL that we want to use using OG URL. So that's probably another way to do this. Uh, so we can just comment that out completely and use our function in order to get back that URL information. And now at this point, uh, it should pull back the whatever the OG URL is that we're using. And that should really, if we're trying to share content on the page, it should match with the page that we're using. Uh, but in this example, uh, we're just using a, a website uh, so that we do have a live address because we don't have a live address. We're on localhost. Uh, so Facebook isn't actually able to access and get that information. So now this gives us the ability to do some cleanup here and uh, we can continue to add in these types of um, URLs. So this one we're going to do for Google Plus. Going back out to here, just going to go Google. And the one that we've been using is the square one. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to use the square one there. And just pull that out there because this is the URL that we're going to have to use. And we're just going to call it Google. Go down to our statement here and do case if it's Google. Uh, our share URL is going to equal Now again, in some cases you might have to encode it and some you might not. So just make sure that, uh, usually it's a good idea just to make sure that things are working uh, when you do enter them in. And now we should be able to get rid of this and go back out to the page, refresh and click Google. And as we can see, it does look like it's working. We are passing that information there. Maybe there is a problem there with the URL, so maybe we don't have to encode that. So again, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't encode it. So see how that works out without doing that encoding. Again, then later on you can always customize the buttons. I had forgot to add in the break. Uh, so what it was doing is it was going through, it had no break, it was going over to the share URL. So hopefully this time it actually pulls through that share URL that we're looking for. And we do see it there within the within the pop-up window. So this is the same thing. This is the, what we wanted. And now we can go through and do that for all the additional buttons. Uh, so we're going to walk through that in the next lesson.